Whoa, that bank was close. Out of there, out of there, out of there. Oh, Jesus. I got me foot on the brake. Oh, <laughs> Rocket is a maniac. Look at that. He, uh, he's committing, that's for sure. He really mate. is. He's going to get higher yet, too. Look, it goes lower down there. In case you haven't noticed or wondering, this is Bundy, and we're back. I reckon that's nothing compared to what's going to happen up there, dude. Exactly right, mate. It gets gnarlier, and there's going to be a hell of a lot more wheel lifts, that's for sure. Get yourself something cold, something nice to sit in, a nice comfy chair, just like Rocket is right now. Strap yourself in. We're going to do Bundy. Forward drive action style. Let's get adventure. him up the hill. Woohoo! Riding tail end Charlie on this trip, we've got Nathan from MDC Camper Trailers. Nathan's dead keen to put that camper trailer to the test. And we know that Bundy is the perfect place to do it. <laughs> always smiling and always up for an adventure. Rocket rods in the big 79 and he can't wait to get dusty. Bundy, I reckon you're gonna have to hold on, mate. And as always, Shauno's in the big 80. He is gonna have a whale of a time. <laughs> you like what I did there? We're starting this adventure in the Pine Creek area before making our way out to Norville Park. From there, we're gonna explore Elisabella National Park before heading out to Kincuna Beach. Now, this is a place I've not seen much of and I can't wait to get stuck in. First things first, and we've gotta knock some pressure out of these tires. Nathan's also gonna knock some air out of the camper trailer tires as well. I've been to Bundy before, so I know that I'm gonna go down to about 22 PSI to start off, and from there, I'll make adjustments as needed. We've been to Pine Creek before, so we know that this area is renowned for some pretty gnarly terrain. There's a lot of things you can gauge local tracks by. You take a drive through Coffs Harbour and have a look at the trucks that are driving around, give you a pretty good indication of just what the tracks are like out there. Another thing that I like to look for is bits and pieces at the start of tracks. We all know what that is. That is a busted CV in the biggest sense of the word. I've been down here before, I know exactly what I'm about to get myself in for. So does everyone else, except for these two. Ain't done it before. So I'm very keen to send us all down here and have a bit of a play. This area is just a maze of tracks. It's a heck of a lot of fun. After this, I reckon we're going to head back out and head down to one of my probably one of my favourite campsites on this side of the country. And that's a big call, but it really is one of my favourite campsites. We might leave that for a bit later, but for now, I'm going to call this CV Junction. And leave that there as a warning to other passers-by. Hey, Rocket, you got a copy? Sure have, mate, if I stop bouncing around here. What's the weather like in Melbourne at the moment, mate? When I left, it was one degree. <laughs> Ah, you'd be hating this then, wouldn't you? I'm looking forward to it. 26 degrees here in Bundaboo. So, <laughs> it's a big change from where I was. Yeah, I love this part of the world, mate. The tracks down here are just super fun. Heaps of articulation and flex, a few rock steps, and uh, heaps of fun. Well, this is a nice little trench to get started with, isn't it? Steep and deep, we're straight into it here in Bundy. You look really vertical. I thought it doesn't have much in it until she dips over front ways. And because I didn't actually know what was there, it was a little bit, uh, a little bit daunting. <laughs> Look at that thing flex. See what Shauno, the car's in the class at the time, mate. Shauno, did you even notice that there was a drop off there? Mate, that suspension just works really well. Rocket, well, you certainly noticed. <laughs> the look on your face says it all. <laughs> Nathan, first obstacle for the trip. <laughs> That's a big angle. The camper trailer's still behind you. <laughs> Good work, mate. Let's keep going. Another set of ruts down here. You know, this whole Pine Creek region right through here. It's a bit of a playground for not only the people of Bundy, as you'd expect, of course, but as far north as Townsville and as far south as Harvey Bay. They all come up here. It's really well known, respected little section of four-wheel drive tracks out here for good reason. So look at this. That's just, this is just fun. I'm gonna have a good old crack at this. I'm not even gonna take the sensible line. I'm gonna go right through the guts of this and just see what happens. Woo -hoo -hoo, that happened. <laughs> that low center of gravity and of course the automatic transmission allowing me just to be so smooth and gentle on these tracks means that they're so much fun in the D-Max. Holy heck. I did that surprisingly easy. Yeah, it was good to watch mate from back here. Just flexed its way through and had heaps of traction. I'm surprised how much downward travel you got in the rear of that vehicle. A little bit of downward travel in the cab too at times, mate. <laughs> now for Shorno. We've seen how well that 80 flexes. This thing. Oh, look at it go. Have a look at that front end work. That is really well put together. Wow, that's really, really flexed. Your right rear is tucked right up in the guard. <laughs> oh, there you go. You finally lift the right rear a couple of inches. As is the rear. Flexes like a sick giraffe. 
when you drive these sort of ruts you really want to keep your tyres on the high side of the ruts if you've got a vehicle with a lot of articulation it doesn't really matter so much where you put them you do want your vehicle to go through as flat as possible go look at that that's nice that was absolutely beautifully driven there mate you're gonna like that one rocket that's um yeah a lot of articulation through there mate Rockets up next, and we all know that 79 series, well, don't exactly have the travel of most four-wheel drives. I guarantee you, Rocket's gonna pick up a wheel or two here. Whoa, there's a noise. Drive, mate, well done. Yeah, you're gonna have some fun in there, Nathan. Come down and enjoy, mate. Last through is Nathan. The big 200 will have zero dramas, but he has got a camper trailer on the back. The camper's running independent suspension, and of course, it has got that poly block hitch up the front, which means that the trailer's gonna do pretty much exactly what the four-wheel drive does. He'll make it through without a drama. It loves it. Good work, mate. Nice drive. Well, that looks really nasty. Next up, we're faced with some fun-looking bog holes. I'm gonna have a crack at this. But I'm not so fortunate to come out the other side this time around. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> oh, that's rancid. Mate, I just got hung up coming out of here. I probably I probably should have given it a bit more berry, but I just didn't know what was in there, so I yeah, went in gentle. Yeah. This just looked like any ordinary bog hole to me. I crawled in and didn't give it nearly enough berries. Boys behind me, you can guarantee they won't be holding back. As for me, well, I've got to reach for the winch. I'm out but I'm going to push on a little further to clear the track for the others. I'm actually nervous about this more than anything we've done today. Why? I don't know, just last one. Oh yeah, you went down and died and yeah. Just up ahead, there's another bog hole, but you can guarantee I'm not holding back on this one. Yeah, a little mumbo. Righto, here comes Sean o through the first bog hole. He's got the advantage of seeing exactly what happened to me so he can adjust his technique. What I mean by that is, he's gonna give it a lot of right boot. <laughs> That's a cool thing. Looks like these bog holes have been sat here for a while. Oh. <coughs> that, this one's not so bad, that one. Oh, oh it's right in the... Have your window down. <coughs> Get it in there for you. Nah. <laughs> Get up, quick. More mud. It's real sticky too. Righto, through the second he goes. Good work, mate. Oh, as soon as it finds boost, get out of there, it says. Rocket's seen what to do. He's up, and he's not going to hold back either, I don't reckon. However, by getting thrown around in there, he's washed off a fair amount of momentum. Rocket, so close, mate. Oh, I, so swear, close. I swear one of your tyres went airborne yeah, did. as he came halfway through. <laughs> Bounce. So good. Oh, hello. Come on, into the stinkies. Ah, oh, Rocket! It's just full of mud down here. <laughs> I love getting him like that. <coughs> I smell <all> out. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's a go. Yep! Yeah. It's a really simple recovery. We'll just run that winch out and pull him about half a four-wheel drive length before he's back on his own steam. Okay, he's out of there and he's into the second one. Let's see how he handles this. This looks like a hero truck. Only just, mate. Only just. Very much just. Ho, ho, ho. Now for Nathan and the MDC trailer. Oh, there's that wall. I think Nathan might have been just trying to protect that camper trailer a little too much there. He's gone in without enough momentum. And again, right at the exit, he's got hung up. Ah, hung up in the mud. We almost made it. Out with the winch cable, mate. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Hold it out. Once again, this is a really simple recovery. There you go in. Nathan's only needing about five metres and he's out and on the flat and ready to have a crack at that second bog hole. Thanks, mate. Hey, yeah. Get into it. With a bit more gusto on the second bog, he's through with the trailer in tow. Nice work, buddy. 
That was a few revs. Look at that water. <laughs> yeah! Oh wow, looks like we've got us a little mini gunshot here. I've got to, I just dropped straight down. I can't even see the bottom. I'm just going to ease my way over. That's quite a quite a little drop in. That is. All right, this is really about picking a line through here. My number one concern is going to be getting past this log to start with. But if I can get up on this bank. As you can see from the footage right there, that left hand side, there's not enough room to even put a pack of playing cards. Brand new four wheel drive, and I'm doing this. <laughs> How good is it? <laughs> it missed it by a country inch. <laughs> the biggest tip I can give for an obstacle such as this, of course, is to have a spotter out the front. That was insane. He's about an inch away from the bank the whole way. We're just Literally turning the steeries, a steering wheel by millimetres just to avoid that bank. Now there's a big sort of washout, he's going to lift the tyre up. We're going to try and get him over to the other side of the bank. So we can actually maybe straddle this bank, keep all four tyres on the ground. That's it, that's good. Straighten up. shono has got eyes on the track that I can't see right now, so I'm just watching him as well as yep. feeling my yep. wheel placement. Yep, that's perfect, get on that bank now. <laughs> look at this, red paint on here. Biggest risk I've got right now, of course, is panel damage. Brand new vehicle, I do not want to do panel damage. That was one of the best drives I've ever seen. That was insane. <laughs> that was just, there was millimetres in it. Oh man, you were up about a metre up on the bank. I don't know if I want to know yet. Lifting tyres. <laughs> I was like, there's bits where I was spotting you and I'm like, oh, I, don't, I don't know. Just I keep, don't know. Just keep you, going straight. You're doing, you're doing it right, just you keep doing that thing. That was a really committing little bit of track, and I made it through with not one scratch. <laughs> Righto, Shauna, you're up, brother. You can really see just how much bigger the 80 is. He just fits, but those bigger tyres are meaning that he doesn't move around in there either. All right, now, the fun begins. Whew. All right, I reckon Shauna should make this look easier. My biggest concern here is he's got so much flex that he could lean a lot more than I did. But that flex and the size of those tyres might just do him a big favour here. shauno has got to be careful that he doesn't use that throttle too erratically. He's got a fair bit of power there. He wants to keep it nice and smooth. Straighten him up now. Once again, he's just keeping an eye on the two spotters out the front, myself and Rocket, making sure he's doing exactly as we tell him. That was good. Literally inches in that. Ang angles, angles. He should flex through this. Look at that. She flexes. Left, left, left. <laughs> Wonder why you call it sooty. I don't understand. He's a smoky little link. I'll add 60 kilos to it. That's it, that's it. I've got this. <laughs> Have a look at that, well, you can see just how close that driver's side is to getting wiped out. Oh, this is going to be a ride. Gentle, gentle, gentle. You're nearly there. I'm off. That's it. <laughs> That's a go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes! <laughs> you can see all the, all the paint on here in this. It's a glass all through here. This has obviously claimed many victims. This rocket was going to be the next one. Risk versus reward. He can go around, only going to be a 10 minute detour and he pick us up on the fence line up here. We'll keep going, but just not worth it. There's actually pieces of glass all the way down into the middle of there. Rocket 79 has a savage tendency to lean over, even on the mildest slopes. So, fellas, after watching you pair climb that hill and then watching Rocket, I think I might follow Rocket's lead, mate, and go up to the right. Both Rocket and Nathan can take a bypass track and join us on the main track a couple of hundred metres further. Whoa, up in the air. This whole Pine Creek area has definitely delivered with some seriously rugged terrain and a good mix of challenges to test even the most technical four-wheel driver. You just need to make sure that you've got the right gear like we have. There it is. There's the wheel lift. <laughs> Had to take a second grab at that. Still going. Looks good from the bottom plate. Up we go! Hey! <laughs> oh, 
there you go, just. Yeah, we got him, yoo-hoo! A bit rough. Lads, an epic day on the track deserves an epic camp, I reckon, and I've got a little secret spot that I've uh, been told about. Anyone keen for a beach camp? Oh, get me mate. I love beach camps. Oh, you know me, Graham. Always up for a good beach camp. Rocket, okay, I didn't even need to ask you, mate. I knew you'd just have a smile on your face as soon as I said that. Isn't it amazing that we all come from very, very different parts of the country to come and see the sights and sounds all over Australia and that, and here we are in Bundaberg heading out to a great spot. I tell you what, Rocket, all this driving and talking is making me thirsty. Yeah, right now we're approaching a spectacular beach camp at Norval Park. Just get a look at this bit of coastline. Look, there's no one around for miles. It's absolute paradise. Suddenly though, Nathan comes over the radio. Oh, he's gonna have to pull it up here. I've gone down. So yeah, mate, if you wanna bring those Max tracks back, I'll um, drop some air and ride up on the Max tracks if I can. All right, that bad boy's in there now. We're gonna drop these tires right down. I'm talking 12 at the moment. We'll go lower if we need to because it's a long straight stretch of beach. We're only going to be cruising along. We're not going to do anything radical. We're not going to come off it at high speed or anything like that. So there's no real chance we're going to roll that tyre off. We're on a soft beach towing a camper trailer, but the big 200, she's got stonking amounts of power. Coupled with the max tracks to get us up and moving, I think we'll be right. Yep, go for it. Go, 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 go. Drive, drive, drive. And just like that, he's out. You would not go to the beach without these things. How good is it driving on the beach? You gotta love the weather. I tell you what, this is some of the softest sand I've ever seen on any of the beaches I've ever driven. It is a bit soft. What are you running on yours, Sean? Um, oh, heck, I just ran over a bit of driftwood. I was being a bit lazy. I've got about 30 PSI in my tyres. Supposed to be some nice campsites uh, right down the end of this beach, mate. So we'll head all the way down there and see what we find. Copy that, mate. Look, if we can get a campsite that's maybe up on the grass overlooking this uh, beautiful view here, mate, we're in paradise. Mate, I reckon this would be about the last campsite we're going to get before that river down there. What do you reckon we pull in? Have a look. I'll just check the time as well, mate, and Vera Cock just came up on the screen in the 80s, so yeah. The VMS is telling me we can't go any further, so this is us, mate. I'm going to pull in. Let's have a look. Oh, ho, ho, ho! We stumbled onto a magic little campsite just back behind the first row of dunes. Oh, this is pretty good. The area is just big enough to fit everyone in and get a cracking campfire going. Sean and I are rolling out the swags tonight while Rocket is putting up his brand new rooftop tent. And well, Nathan is sleeping in pure luxury in the MDC camper trailer. You know what I like about this time of day, mate? What's that, mate? If you listen really closely, yep. you can hear the sound. <laughs> You need to get that checked out, mate. <laughs> beer's opening, because that yeah. signals the end of a day, mate. A great day at that. Cheers, bud. Yeah, cheers, bud. Cheers, guys. Look at that water, would Rocket. you? Yeah, this campsite this? would be, I don't know, it'd be good if it didn't cost so much. You know, the, what, the free part's putting you the off, The free part it? puts me off. I'd, I'd, I'd prefer to just be paying a lot of money like in one of those swanky <laughs> hotels, mate. Look at that. I know, you couldn't actually get an apartment probably with views like this, because you're right on the beach. You said you're going to cook fish, is that true? Mm -hmm. And guess what? The fish literally came from about... Wait. 70 k's that way. Oh, you, yeah, you tell me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that way. Now, yeah. bit concerned. Why? Why? You're not going to put freaking lychees in there, are you? Lychee. You think I'm going to do something weird with it, don't you? Trust me when I say this, you will like it. Yeah. Yep, that's right, mate. It's time for Shauno to cook up a storm. Woo! There you go, mate. Mate, that fire doesn't start itself. You know, I love cooking, right? I love camp cooking especially because it's usually yeah. quite easy and, yep. you know, using fresh ingredients, I'm all about that. I went fishing just recently. You'll Can probably I buy notice. You oh, thank you, mate. I actually was Dude. fishing just offshore here, yeah. and um, I want to make a little dish with the fish. And um, Do you want this yet, or do you want to wait? I'll bring it out, bring it out, yeah. bring it out. So what I'm cooking tonight, folks, I'm cooking um, fish tacos, and I know you're a big fan of fish tacos. Dude. It's, it's a, look, and I'm just going to whip it up nice and easy. I've got a few fresh ingredients here. You have you... hit a soft spot with me. I just, <laughs> I'd love them. So that's um, freshly caught fish. What sort, of, what sort of cod is that? Not that bad. is a bar cod. Yep. And I reckon fish tacos is one of those meals I reckon every bloke deserves to try. There's a bit no. of a recipe that goes with this one, but to be honest with you, I'm going to be making it up as we go. I don't you can't, like if you, you if this, you've got fresh nervous. fish, you can't go too wrong. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Would you be able to maybe get this bowl here? Yes. We're going to make a little marinade, right? 
So you just, look at that, that's beautiful white flesh. Barcod is, is a beautiful Up there fish. with your favourite yeah. fish? Look, any, any fish will work for this. And the, the beauty about fish tacos, you don't need the best eating fish on the market. No, you okay. don't. Okay, you want me to squeeze that into there? Bit of lime in there, bit of lime, bit of honey. So you just get that right in there, is that what you're saying? Just, yeah, pour that straight in, like, squeeze it up. Yep. But look, I'm just cutting these fish pieces up into smallish sort of bites because we're going to fry these bits up, but you're making a marinade right now. Yeah, what do I need give to it, Give next? it a little bit of um, honey. Yep. Okay. Go about two tablespoons. It's actually not moving. A little bit of chilli in there. Oh, a little bit of chilli in there. Yeah, you know, I shouldn't, I shouldn't yeah. let you do that. All right. There's a bit of garlic too. Right. So just old, some honey in there? Knob of garlic. Oh, a knob of garlic, that's it. Me too. That's it. Oh, that's so, nice. so we've got a bit of lime juice. Yep, we've got lime juice. We've put honey, garlic so far. Yep. And some chilli. Yep, put a bit of chilli. And I'm going to chuck a bit of olive oil in there for good measure. Now, I need to stir this? Yes. Okay. That's a lot. That's, I'd, I'd hold back about now. Okay, That's sure. Typically what I'd do. Typically what you do is not always what I'd do though. About four shakes before that, folks. So no. probably about two shakes of it, not about ten. Now while he's doing that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to start chucking the fish ah. in. That looks well marinated. So what we're going to do is just leave that. The lime juice, of course, cooks the fish a yep. tiny bit. We just want to leave that to marinate for about ten minutes. Yep. So I'm cutting these ones up. I'm going to do the real hard bit because I want to mix this packet up of uh, chipotle. 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 Do you want some hot water? Yep. There you go. Now, how do you want this cut up, bro? Just um, diced if you could. Diced, yes, I can do that. I'm going to do is a bit of guacamole too, in the packet form. I'm just going to pour a bit of water in that. Is that the chipotle mix? Yes. Okay. Greek yogurt. Ah, that can be used to treat a wide range of things. Really? Greek, right? Yeah, it's, it, that's one of the healthiest things you can keep in your fridge. That's it's cool. a lot of onion. You've really, it's a lot of onion there. You committed there. Yeah. Oh, that's a. Good I, I, I don't know how much there is to put in, but I'm just going to like that's see a what happens. Whacker. Let's get the heat on this one, mate. Yep, I can do that. If you were to have a date, like, I mean, invite a young lady to your house. To have fish tacos. Yeah, to have fish tacos. Mm -hmm. And you decided to open up your account with that, I guarantee you would fish tacos all night long. Yeah. Um, what I want to do now, right, mm -hmm. just put a bit of lime juice in that. Right, we've got avocado. Yep. You, look, you get a couple out. I'm making a guacamole, mate. A guacamole? That's a fancy way yep. for saying smashed avocado. It's actually guacamole, but you... Guacamole. Yeah, you're going nuts, nice, Hey, this is starting to get pretty hot in here. All right, start putting the fish on. What am I going to do with this fish when it's cooked? Uh, pretty much eat it. Okay. Yep. I think you just chuck that in like that. Mix it right up with the, the mix. Look, with fish, you just want to make sure it's nice and flaky when it's cooked. So two to three minutes per side, okay. say. I'm impressed with your skills. Well... Oh, that's mate. looking good, mate. Dude, this fish is just... Smells so good, doesn't it? So fresh and flaky. I'm pretty much done here. What's the next step? I'll tell you what, if you didn't want to bother with the old fish taco, you just want it in a lazy night, right? Yep. You could just make that marinate. I've got Rocket <laughs> to do the uh, tortillas. It's crucial you heat your fish taco up. You can't have it cold. No, God, I've tried nah, so many it's not times. so nice. It's not <laughs> so nice here. All right. Grab, grab us so one of these. The here we go. Grab one of these oh, each, boys. Right, the process is pretty straightforward. Just Get a fair bit of old fish on your fish taco. Yeah, give, me, give me a bit of old slop in there. Yep, 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 yep. What's next? Oh, struth, there's some heat in there. A bit of chipotle. Oh, chipotle. Chipotle. Bit of uh, guacamole. <laughs> mm. That's good fish taco. Oh, oh my God. Mine's, mine's, mine's looking at everywhere. Look at it. Oh. There you go, guys. That's uh, some of the best fish tacos I've ever had out camping. Oh, my Nice and juicy, nice and moist. It's yep. perfect. That's yep. how it should be as well. Yep. Tell you what, mate. I'm going to sit by the fire and yep. uh, maybe sink a beer as well because that's... um. That's a proper little meal. Really? Is that his... <laughs> you made a mess oh, out of yours. Mate, absolutely, yeah. mess. <laughs> absolutely mess. But mm. if you're going to make a mess of a fish taco, this is the way to do it. Mm. There's not a lot of grit, to be honest. Stick around, guys, because coming up in part two, we get into big trouble in Little Bella. Waking up to this has to be better than any five-star hotel, and I think Sean O agrees. It's time to make a plan for the day over a fresh oh, coffee. Out of the blue. Oh, look at that. I heard the noise, mate. You got a coffee? Yes, please. All right, done. I think we'll need one today, will we? Uh, yes. <laughs> big, big boy tracks? Um, yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot, of, lot of fun. That's Gee whiz, that's a that's lot of coffee right there. Ramp. Good <laughs> lord. Just, just, a lot go, of coffee just go a little bit, mate. So yeah, we're going to head back yeah, out towards full, yeah. Pine Creek today, which is only, looking on the map, she's about 40 minute drive from here. How's that? Middle of the bush, hardest track she'll do, 40 that's minutes. Right. Beautiful right. beach like this to camp in a spot wow. like this. Good. How long did it take you to set this awning up last night, mate? 10 minutes? Yeah, I noticed that. It didn't take long, we went and got firewood and it was all done. It was all done. Yeah. How long did it take you to put this down? 10 minutes. Okay. All right, we'll sit down and enjoy it for 10 minutes. We'll sit down and annoy you. We'll throw rocks at you. <laughs> <laughs>
As it happens, we enjoyed Pine Creek so much yesterday, we've decided to go back to tackle a couple more of the tracks in the area. But after that, we're going to push out to Lizabella National Park. With no dew to dry off this morning, we're able to get packed down early and get back out on the tracks. The great thing about leaving a beach camp early is that the sand is still cool, and because it's cool, it's a whole lot firmer and really easy to drive on. Yeah, what a sensational part of the coast, mate. This is um, paradise. I'd love to be up here for a week with a little tinny, zip out there and get a feed of fish, come back in. We've got bigger tracks to fry than that. Yeah, I'm gonna head us back into the bush, find some gnarly tracks, and if you're keen, see how we go. Maybe even another night out camping. What do you reckon? Try and hold me back, mate. Oh yeah, been looking forward to it. You couldn't have asked for a better camp spot. And get a load of this tide. Jesus, it's gone out a long way since we turned up. That's a legend spot, boys. Have to mark that one on the VMS for sure. Righto, we're back out near Pine Creek. Mate, you got trailer brakes on that thing? Yeah, mate. This fellow's got 10-inch electric brakes. Uh, got a bit of downhill stuff, have we? Rocket, you want to put? Whoa! Real steep section. Crikey! <laughs> Rocket, you'll want to put your anchors on. Yes, gravity does work against me, doesn't it? But we'll do our best. Oh man, that just dropped away. That actually scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I see what you mean about, <laughs> about scaring. Um, yeah, you think you've got the handle on it. I thought, oh, I've got this. And then it um, dropped away a bit more. Totally, I was just talking on the radio. And then next minute. Whoa, jeez. Wasn't expecting that. Whoa, wowzers, boys, I see what you mean. This area certainly isn't short on rugged tracks to test us. I gotta say though, Nathan is just not being held back at all by towing that trailer. He's doing a brilliant job. Right now, we're on a track that will pop us out in a good position to make our way out to Little Bella but it looks as if it's not gonna let us through without a fight. Looks like an old creek bed through here, folks. All rocky and slow by the looks of it. Yeah, there's a few little undercut banks and drop-offs, isn't there? Oh, this'll be slow and steady territory. It's, oh, this will be easy for me, of course. I've got an auto in mine. Rocket, you and I are in good company here, mate. I'll tell you what, Brave, buddy, autos were just built to do this. Quite a little bumpy little spot here, isn't it? You're gonna take your time, don't you? 100%, mate. I tell you what, there's no, there's no counting for talent. I'm going to try and find myself some of that. Holy dooly. Oh, this is a cool little track. There's a bit of donking and dinking going on, but no, no, she's all good. It must just be an old, old, old creek bed, I think. Got trees on either side, nowhere to go. Yeah, boys, in we get. Woo! That stinks. <laughs> Whoa, yes. Nice drive. Sheep is. Pick a line, pick a line, pick a line. Do it now. Good lord, man. This right here is a huge sinkhole right in the middle of the track. There ain't no going around it. We've got to get up and over it. Wow, that's a big climb out of it. Yeah, it looks pretty gnarly. Need a spot, mate? You're right. What I really need to do here is to get my rear left tyre up onto some rocks or some ground to get some purchase, and that'll give me just enough clearance to get through. It's time to call in some help. Yeah, give us a spot, dude, and just see if I can uh, manoeuvre myself better. Just trying to pick the right line here. Traction's going to be almost impossible to find here. But yeah, try it, yeah, a little bit of right hand down. Yeah, it's because of that big undercut bit there. Track building is going to be the key right here. It's a good size rock. A little bit of a go. And look how easy that was. Just like that. A little bit of track building. Just put one rock and a little bit of clay right where I saw that tyre. That was the one that wasn't getting traction with the ground. As soon as it got a bit of traction, made it look easy. All right, this next little section is quite off camber. I'm gonna try and scoot up the middle and not drop into the rut. Exactly like that. Uh, whoops. That's a big rut. Okay, Sean, you're up, mate. 
Well, the key with this one is really picking your line. You just want to get those tyres just right. I just want to try and use that as a ramp and just climb straight up. <laughs> straight up. Big tyres and big flex. I don't reckon you'll have a problem. Okay, Rocket, you've seen how it's done, mate. Your turn. Oh, screw! Oh. How did you not go over? What was that? That was a bit of a rough episode. First thing I did is just put my hands in my head and a little <laughs> weird noise came out, mate. <laughs> it's a squeak. Mate, we have to winch you there. You're in a hole, dude. You're in a big hole. I'm stuck. I don't know, Rocket came up there full of gusto and I thought he was going to make it. Then he kind of popped up and slid the back sideways and it hit that bank down there. And now, because this side is so undercut, no way you can pull him out of there without using the winch. So I'm going to set up a winch to this big tree here and just try and pull him straight up and out. The recovery point is up high so that we're pulling Rocket up and out of that hole rather than down into it. Rocket 79 is really heavy and any help we can give that winch will be useful right here. Yes! <laughs> Well, Rocket's definitely made it a little bit more difficult. It, I reckon if I guide Nathan though up, he's got literally a couple of inches where he can get that tyre and maybe get some sort of a line up here. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking, man. Just straight up there. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge. All right, come on, mate. The big plan for Nathan right here is to see if he can drive through, but if he can't, we're going to pull him up before he does any damage. Yep, 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 yep. Punch it. Punch it. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That's a good spot, mate. You've done well. Yeah. Yeah, that's the perfect spot for Nathan to stop right there. He's had a red hot go at it. Now it's time to use that winch. Once again, recovery point up nice and high. And let the winch do the work. Yep. A little bit of drive as you do it, tiny bit, little bit. That's it, that's it. It's coming up, it's coming up. Beautiful, mate. Woohoo! <laughs> well, where's he going? Where's he going? This is exactly why I choose the mud terrain style tyre from the Bridgestone range. Situation is exactly like this. I want to be able to try and clear this mud out as quickly as I possibly can to maintain tread, grip, etc. Here we go. Mud, glorious mud. I'm not getting hung up on this one. Pedal to the metal. Oh, yes. Sean's doing exactly the same. That's the way, mate. Too easy. Rocket, the look on his face, pure concentration. Oh, a bit of slip on the exit, but he's made it through. Pure aggression. Up and out. Here we go. Whoa, a bit of a sloppy one, this one. Right on, Nathan, get the big 200 out, pull that trailer through. That's a good drive, bud. Good drive. Yeah, that's it. Okay, onward we go. Really hoping to treat the boys to a cracking little campsite tonight that I know of. It's right on the edge of a river. You can literally camp right on the edge of the river. It's a beautiful spot. Open, plenty of firewood. I know they're going to love it. It's a bit of a track to get in. Oh my goodness. Will you look at that? That is quite the obstacle, I reckon. Oh, that is steep. Look at that rut on the left. Insanity. I reckon we have to get out and check this one out. That's that's a that's an A-grade obstacle. If ever I saw it. What are you thinking here, mate? I'm thinking they're big ruts. Huge. You oh. walk in there and you'll see. There's, there's, there's a lot of different lines, obviously, you could take. Hard right is one, but I don't like that even. You get a bit off camber and you fall in here, maybe. You know, I'm thinking in my truck with all the articulation just to drive straight in. It's committing. Very committing line. I'm going to give it a go. And look, the, the cool thing is I can always reverse out. If I don't like that, I reckon there's another line up the side here. I'm going to, I'm going to try and straddle this thing the whole way up. I just, just don't want to slide into it because yep. that'll be... No, slide into it, that's it, just stop. Yeah. Oh, what don't I say here, guide you through. Yeah. Just make sure your tyres are all straight. Yeah, I'm going to come up and then slightly kink to the right. Okay. All right. Cool. I think it'll be like a highway if I do it like that. A bumpy, really off camber, <laughs> wheels in the air a bit highway. Like the Bruce highway. Yeah. 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 All, right. all right. This bit here I've got to get through first. Well, look at that rut down there. I know. Okay, I'm going to try and 
somehow get through this little rut first. It's gonna be one of the harder bits actually. I'll try and straddle it as best I can, I think. No, you're right, you're right. One of the biggest issues I'm faced with now that I'm on this hill is the shale. There's actually a remarkable lack of traction. Feels remarkably sketchy. There's not a lot of grip, to be honest. That's him. That takes me coming. It should feel good when that back comes. Yep, yep. See, now I'm in the rut where I don't want to be. It's literally millimetres. You just sliding down a little bit you need to go right end down maybe you can go forward from here but and then try and what go up that rut you want to straddle it you're sort of just sitting like that where you could go in oh more over this way nah i get you keep going a little bit further you can really see the benefit of having another pair of eyes out there on hills that's like it. this one yeah sean i can see what i can't you yeah, can make it. those fine adjustments to give me that's all right. the help in the world that's a horrible sensation it's all right. you'll be fine a little bit about a foot it's going to come down a sec you don't know how sketchy that feels. It's horrible. Each time I lose traction, of course, I'm sliding downhill, which for me right now is back into that rut. And once I'm in that rut, it's gonna be pretty hard to get back out. See that tree root on the left-hand side? That's also giving me a bit of grief. <laughs> Will this winter? In my opinion, that was a Herculean effort. You know, that's a really tough line, the hardest line of the lot. And um, he fell in that rut. There's not much he can do, but he's almost made it. He's literally got about a meter to drive and he would have driven straight out of there. So just a little wind, it's no use trying to break something, and he'll be out. I won't lie, I was kind of gutted I couldn't have driven that, but I got within half a car length on what was an A-grade obstacle, so that's pretty good in my opinion. Well, that was a lot more committing than it looked from down there. In fact, I think that hole has actually grown in size. It was a lot shorter when I looked at it before. I gave it a red hot go. I actually didn't realise how far I'd got. I, apparently my front wheels were right up here, so I was almost done, but Ah, well, I'll call Sean through, we'll give him a go. Righto, mate, let's do it. Sean's got the best chance of driving this. All right, here we go. Wish me a bit of luck. I reckon this is gonna feel a lot more sketchy when I hit the steep bit up through there. With all that articulation and a rear locker and big tires, he should have a crack at this one. No, 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 no. Go back. No. You wanna come over this way a bit? I wanna climb up before the rut. I'm gonna do my best to really spot him through this and give him every chance possible. So much concentration right here. It's inch by inch, just watching Graham, that's all I'm doing. Straight up with that Sean You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Okay, that was a victory. Woohoo! Just a really good spot, that's what that was. I literally didn't look at anything except for Graham's fingers, but he's just pointing left, right, left, right, and it was all one millimeter. Without a doubt though, that was 100% me. 100% me. He did nothing there. Come on Rocket, let's get you up here. And then it's just gonna go, what's Rocket's decided to tackle the far right hand line. Now, if he gets this right, it'll be really easy. There's not a lot of room though, and he's gonna have to really watch that right hand wheel placement that he doesn't hit a tree or a log on the way up. I got a feeling though, he's gonna make this look really easy. Yes! I was so nervous! I was petrified! Drive, <laughs> <laughs> right, Rocket! Yes! Yeah. I was more nervous than when I drove! Jeez. I couldn't have done it without the auto. There's no way. That just one more little jerk and it would have just slid in. I think the plan is to take Nathan up the same line that Rocket chose, keeping really hard against that bank. The, the biggest fear I've got, of course, is the trailer just pushing itself down into that rut. If that happens, he's sort of just got to power out. He's got to do it in one sort of motion. Um, should be right though, he's got a better turning circle than Rocket. He's got to get through these big ruts first though. This is going to be good to watch. Right, Righto Nathan, let's see it. Holy snap, this is steep and rocky and looks like no traction at all. The ruts at the bottom are actually a lot harder than they look. He's just having a few troubles getting through there. Watch that tree mate, give it a, give it a go. Don't back off, don't back off. There you go, he's well lined up. See right there, just that loss of traction, that shale, really is offering not much at all. Keep going back. You have to do it one really smooth motion, just straight into it. Plenty of dust and rocks flying. That's him, that's him. No, stop, stop there. When you drive this one, yep. it's one go, right? Righto. As soon as you're off that brake, you're on the accelerator, you Launch just it. you just drive it. That's him, that's him. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was perfectly driven. Shaky start, but a perfect finish. Nice work. Yes. I've got a cracking camp in mind for the lads, and we're getting close to it now. We've just got one more obstacle to get through. Hey, Nathan, that camper trailer doesn't let dust in, so I don't think it'll let water in. Is that right? Nah, that's the idea of it, mate. Dustproof and waterproof as much as we can. You're about to find out, because we've got a little river crossing here, and it's a doozy, mate. Um, but on the other side, we get paid in the price of a perfect campsite, mate. Sweet, mate. I can't wait to fold this thing out and have a look. Rocket, put your propellers on. We're crossing. Oh, bring it on. I love a good river crossing, mate. Always have. I've driven this river before, and the depth isn't too bad. However, depending on time of year, the flow rate can be quite significant. Must be low tide, mate. Yeah, zero dramas, boys. Let's give everything a wash. That's nice. Through the river and out the other side. Water crossing completed. This is the perfect time of day to be pulling into camp. The sun's just going down, we've got plenty of firewood. Each of the boys have picked a spot for their particular campsites. Rocket's getting his rooftop tent set up. Nathan's got plenty of room to pour out that camper trailer. I got my swag out. I reckon now's about time to crack a cold beer. You know, one thing I love about Bundy, I don't know about yourselves. 40 minutes, we left right now. In 40 minutes, I could be fishing salt water. Yeah, and you've got so many tough tracks all around. Right in close. You've got campsites, you've got everything. It's just a, it's a cool place to be. I it like is. Bundy. And the tracks, they're not the sort of ones you're going to put yourself on your side unless your name's Rocket. You, you're mostly, <laughs> you're mostly going to have a lot of fun. You're mostly going to have a lot of fun. Well, we're not done yet, boys. What are you, you cooking again tonight? You said you had... A bit of a oh, mixed grill. It's um, mixed grill. four or five kinds of meat. But from fish right through to, which I call vegetarian, yep, all the way through to the proper meat eaters, which is a bit of um, steak. Somebody <laughs> marry this man. Yeah. Good lord. Yeah. Alright, well, I reckon a couple of beers are in order just to shake off the day's nerves. Cheers! Hey. Hey. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Don't go anywhere, guys, and stay tuned because in part three, we battle our way out to Kincuna Beach. Angry! Angry thing! I never tire of waking up in the Aussie bush. The sound of the birds, the smells, it really is as good as life gets. And with camps like this right here, how could you not be having the time of your life? But first things first, breakfast. Mate, what a cracking breakfast, eh? Big breakfast for a big day. Mate, there's a lot of mongrel in your mix this morning, I've got to oh, tell there you. Is. It's right up to, I reckon, 10 out of 10 levels of mongrel in that. It really that mix. is. You put what was, what's the basics of a mongrel mix? You put everything in that you've got left in the fridge. Whatever you got, it's, it's always a last day sort of special. Yep. Just, you, whatever you got in the fridge, put it in the camp oven. Just put it on the fire and leave it. Yep, and then put eggs on top. Put eggs. That, what, that's what differentiates it from dinner to breakfast. You just put that's eggs right, on top. That's <laughs> right. That's right. right. Well, you're going to need it, I reckon. We've got to get out of here yet. The track out of here is insane. Yep. From here, what do you reckon? I oh, know we had a plan to do some more tracks, which we can do if you want to, but mm -hmm. what about we head to the coast? Maybe have a beer on the That's beach. That's a good thing about Bundy, you can get to the coast real quick. Go to the coast? Yeah. Alright, well that was easy. Didn't need any persuasion. Well, I get we'll get a into us. little bit of driving to get out of here first uh, though. I think one of the highlights of the Bundy area is the variety of terrain so close to mm. everything. Bundy is literally, what you got going now, you've been Bundy in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you I'll, get bogged. I like the fact that you don't even need to know where the tracks are. If no. you know where the Pine Creek region is, you literally come down and there's tracks for everybody. You don't have to know some secret the handshake no. to get into a full drive. <laughs> Tracks around here, it's no. just, just go hell for leather. Breakfast done, coffee down. Let's get out of here. Hey Nathan, you got that camper trailer hooked on good and tight? Yeah mate, she's all secure. What do you got planned for us mate? Look up until you're right. <laughs> yeah, I did notice that. <laughs> Rocket, you got all V8s in there? Haven't left any cylinders behind? No, every single one is present and accounted for. And uh, had a brilliant night's sleep. I'm looking forward to today. Yeah, that was, uh, this is the sound of the running water. That does it for me too. Beautiful night's sleep. All right, let's get across this river, get out of here, eh? All right, it's about to get serious. You know, nothing beats the feeling of driving through a water crossing. But there is a couple of tips you really need to know to make sure you don't get swept away or drown your vehicle. First thing you want to do is jump out and make sure that the crossing is actually drivable. You're checking flow rate and depth. And of course, you've got a snorkel fitted to your vehicle, right? Okay, let's do this. Okay, next step. We're going to create a bow wave. I've just placed the D-Max into low range and I'm going to enter nice and slow 
then maintain my speed at about 10 kilometers per hour. And what that'll do is create a perfect bow wave up the front, which causes a pocket of air in the engine bay and really helps eliminate any water ingress. Too easy. There we go, picture perfect. Final step, when you are across and you're completely safe, just stop, leave the engine running, and I just like to let all the water drain from the undercarriage and any water that might have got up into the engine bay drain out before taking off again. It's a very short step, but it ensures you're not gonna get any water ingress once you start driving. The boys have seen how it's done, and they're following behind. We've got a cracking hill to get out of here. I'm keen to get stuck into it. Whoa, Nelly. These obstacles right here have long been called wombat holes. I'd hate to see the size of the wombat that created these though. Whoa, that bank was close. Jeez. D-Max, animal. I think it's Italian for animal. That's what it means. <laughs> what a beast. Righto mate, you're up now. Big tyres, big flex, the big 80, I think you'll come through here. Zero issues. Put on a show for us, mate. There we go. Ooh, you get really close to that bank, those side angles are pretty huge. Keep on the throttle. How yeah, good's that? Now, Rocket puts on a show on the flattest of ground. Coming up through these Wombat Hills, something tells me his tyres are going to be sky high. Oh, Jesus. Engage the lockers, mate. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it, just, it just goes up, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, how unnerving this is. Oh, crikey, Rocket. That's ridiculous. Look at you way down there. That is ridiculous. How high is it? The wheel's at the top of my head, just about. What, what are your wheel bearings like, mate? <laughs> I got my foot on the brake. <laughs> That's it, hang on mate, hang on. <laughs> there was millimetres in that. He's still lifting wheels the whole way up. Rocket, I like the way you drive mate. Oh. <laughs> well done, well done. You're a maniac! <laughs> oh, what a ride! <laughs> I was hanging on all the way. Hey, don't know Holy anything, heck. That's oh. where lockers come in, isn't it? You lift wheels, lockers on. Yep, just go right around. Yeah, just Rear locker only, because I wanted to keep the front open, just so I could still steer properly. But yep, no way you went. Still a heart starter though. Oh, <laughs> no matter how many times I do it, you went, mate. Oh, my heart was going, mate. That's the most entertaining thing I'll see all day, I think. All right, let's get the camper trailer. All right. No worries. Right, Nathan's up. The camper trailer behind it. I think it's going to flex its way through these. He is going to pick up wheels. The key is to come down softly, and not hit those banks. Yeah, he's done it with ease. Good drive, mate. Really good drive. that. That's a challenge. Hey lads, we've got, uh, we've got quite the challenge in front of us here. It's sort of two parts um, and the middle isn't great. So there's three parts. I think, I think I'm going to sort of stick to the left, then shimmy to the right and then just go up and do a pirouette and go backwards. Put reverse in there and then come back up there. I'm going to drive right up the middle. Yeah, you'll, you'll drive by the middle. I'm going to try the left. I'll see how we go. Do you want to watch? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm yes. Alright, let's do it. I'm getting rid of it. I'll tell you what, Graham, I know you've seen it, you walked up to it, mate, but when you get to the top of the next challenge, this is a really, really big rock step, mate. I think you're right though, that line that you, you talked about on the left hand side is probably the go. Um, good luck, buddy. Left hand line is gonna be my friend here, I think. On rock steps like this, underbody protection is your friend. I got quality underbody protection from the front right down to the rear of the D-Max, as well as some side steps that were made up by Barney at Legend X. Good drive, mate, good drive. Hey. 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 Well. That was sick. Graham made that look easy. He just kept those tires straight, had heaps of traction, and um, just took a nice line. Dash. Really need to get some double-sided sticky tape for that. That's a big wheel lift. Hey! <laughs> Graham actually went up there more even. Bit yeah. of a thump, but he got but up. But he got up, yes. And it's just Sean had come up, but he actually lifted a big wheel. Slightly different line. Yep. Me, I'm going to lift them all. <laughs> See how Hopefully we go. one at a time. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> okay, Rocket, let's do this, mate. In this instance, that wheel base has just worked against Rocket. He's seesawing on the top. And the best bet here is just to reverse back down, pick a slightly different line.
Yo, that is savagery. Big wheel lift, lots of wheel spin. And he's made it through. Angry, angry thing. <laughs> We're up. <laughs> Whoa, that was high. That was very high. Good drive, Rocket. Really good drive, mate. That was amazing. Mate, that thing is just an angry, angry beast. It just, it is. When, he, when he puts his foot down, it's just... I oh, know, the noise that came out, I, I squatted a bit myself. It, I was like, oh. It kind of flattens tough tracks. Like, he puts his foot down, and the track flattens, and it rises back up again. So good to see. Look at that wheel lift up there. I, I don't know how he does it. I don't. I honestly don't. He's got, he's got some underpants on him, I'll tell you what. He's wearing a couple of sets today, he told he me. Is. Yeah. Nathan's right, up speaking now. Which? Yeah. Here we go, the rock steps. It was nice and smooth. Once again, I think the key with the camper trailer right here is to see how far we can get it and then just back off so that we don't break anything at this later stage in the trip. I'm keen to get to the beach. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's a lot of shock loads on that tyre. When you see those tyres shuddering like that, it's time to stop and rethink. I think the safest bet is just a winch, to so. be honest. I've seen CVs break here. Winch out. Another real beauty of the Bundy region is there's so many trees to act as perfect anchor points. Make up a little bit of tension, Nathan. Up there. Okay, Nathan's up. He can pull the camper trailer up, no dramas from there. We wanted to test that camper, Nathan. I think we've done it. Whoa, there's a hole there. <laughs> I do reckon this might be the last little sort of pinch out of here, and then we can sort of black top it out get down to the beach, what do you reckon? Sounds good mate, you've got a beach in mind. Um, wouldn't mind checking out that Woodgate beach. Yeah, sounds good. I don't think I've ever been there. Let's do that. Yeah, it's done mate, another great campsite too. We might even, I don't know, be keen, camp a couple extra days or something. I'll have to check the boss. Yep, I can do that. Uh, uh, any beach is a great beach to me. Got to get out of here first. Oh, it's a rough little track this one. Rocket is one of the few people that picks up massive wheel lifts going downhill. <laughs> How do you do it, mate? Good work, Nathan. Really giving that trailer a workout, mate. And it's holding together. Pine Creek area has got so many ruts, it's just washed out. Makes it a hell of a lot of fun, that's for sure. What a bumpy ride up there. The big girl just keeps on legging it forward. Holy heck, that was a branch just come down and hit the top of my windscreen and scared the absolute heebie-jeebies out of me. Really steep little descent into this gully here. And of course, the beauty with the D-Max is that I've just pushed the hill descent control button and letting the D-Max do all the work. You'll see at the bottom, I'm gonna scrape a lot, but that's where underbody protection comes into its own. I'm really not concerned about those noises. It can scratch that underbody as much as it wants. From down here, it's directly back on the loud pedal and up the other side. Right, hey, Sean, come on down, mate. Holy heck, this is, this is pretty steep. Lots of big rocks at the bottom here, so I just want to go nice and slow. Try and pick a line, but it be easier said than done. Something tells me Sean ain't going to take the easy line here. Have a go on the right hand line just for a bit, a bit of fun, you know, see if I can do it. If not, I'll just reverse down. What was that, mate? What just happened then? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh no! If you guys have saw that, but my sonnies were on the dash, and they slid straight off as I lifted a wheel and went under the rear tire. I can't believe a Land Cruiser ran over these and they're still in one piece, sort of two pieces, but that's pretty good for three tons of Land Cruiser. Not stoked because they're my favorite sonnies. Well, that was an expensive mistake. <laughs> Righto, Rocket. Come on through, mate. Oops, I'm sliding around here. Come on, Kurt, you can come up. Touch it on the ball boat.
Right, I mate, foot to the floor. Let's get up the other side. Wow. And look at the relief. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That was a sketchy bit. Whoa, where does this drop off to? Nathan's really going to need that coupling on the camper trailer here to allow a big lot of flex between the four-wheel drive and the trailer at the bottom of this gully. Have a look at that though, handles it with ease and that's why you have a coupling like that on an off-road camper trailer. Plenty of revs, plenty of momentum and he's up the other side. Woo! Wow, that is a steep little hill, seriously. Get a load of that, will you? If that's not paradise, I don't know what is. Picture perfect Queensland beach. If I'm not mistaken, folks, that big expanse of blue there is the beach. How yeah, good does it look too, mate? It looks absolutely sensational. Perfect day for it. Real tropical, isn't it? Blue water, blue sky. Oh, we're in heaven, mate. These campsites have got some very committing entrances to them. Certainly putting on a show, isn't it? Incredible some of these beaches. Oh, we're in heaven, mate. Look at the colour of that water. This is quite a pristine beach, isn't it? It's unreal. Yeah, stunning part of the coast, mate. If you've never been to Bundy, put it on your map. I'd like to be in a boat out there. Mate, I want to come out and say it. Yep. I like Bundy. Oh, Bundy. What's oh, not I to like, like Bundy. Oh, it's beautiful Tough spot. tracks, great beaches. You've got, it's a great town, let's be honest. Oh, the town's good too, the mate. The town yeah. is good, yeah. <laughs> the town's fantastic. No, the four-wheel driving out here is unreal. There's so much fun, you know, lifting wheels more than you're not. Some of us are lifting a lot of wheels, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Just a couple. <laughs> you don't get the chance, folks, if you're doing a lap, because of course we say that, but if you, if you live in South West WA or you live in the Northern Territory, it's a bit hard to get to Bundy. But if you are doing a big lap, don't discount Bundy. Oh, it's get a great Get in here and spot check it out. Yeah. This is, what's his beach? Palm King Kuna. King Kuna. Yeah. The campsite's up the back here. Just sensational. All the way along. That's your view. And for miles down there. Yeah. You know, crowds, we're on the weekend, so Saturday at the moment. There's a couple of people up there, but that's it. Yep. If you use binoculars, you might be able to see them. That's yeah. it. It's Bundy. Get to Bundy and check it out. What are our plans? Well, I reckon we might go for a fish up there or something. Gonna fish, go for a fish, camp. yeah. <laughs> we'll set up camp. Have, yeah. Absolutely. Have a beer. All right, well, that's what we Take do. We're going to go camping for another night. You got any views left, actually? Oh, a couple of secret ones, mate. Okay, cool. That'll do it. It's all right, folks. We're on King Kuna Beach. Come down and see if you can find us. Probably won't still be here, but you never know. <laughs> Catch you next. Where are we going next time? Somewhere good. Somewhere good. Okay, he doesn't know. <laughs> Catch you next time, folks. You. Now I'm always a big fan of yelling up. What's up? Uh, Yinger up. Nana up. Downer up. They're all. All the ups are good. In fact, anything west is good because I like West Australia. Stop! He dances and sings and I can't... It makes me feel weird, look. And I've eaten a lot of different types of... <laughs> well, this'll do. I'll stay here then if I have to. I don't want to get out. Sandflies will bite me to death. <laughs> can you just hold your head still for one second, Nathan? I can indeed. Hello. Hello, Gladys. North one. North one. Whoa, screw that I killed myself. <laughs> tight, tight, baby. Probably wet himself a tiny bit just uh, thinking about this hill. Oh, didn't realise my radio's on. Whoops. Smells of poo in here. <laughs> this thing has been absolutely killing it on the tracks. What are you doing? Moses, mate. If I was, what's that guy that shouts at chefs a lot? What's his name? Um. He's a chef, right? Yeah, he's a chef. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ra I should, hey, know, I should know my fellow colleagues out there. <laughs> Gordon, if you're watching, and you probably are, because Gordon probably owns a, he's owned a Land Rover, I reckon. I'd say so, he'd be a Land Rover sort of bloke. Nice, nice landing. Uh, if you're watching, Sean sure O'Wiz, you probably should do a collaboration, I would say. Oh, well, you know how you should do a we'll, collaboration. We'd both learn off each other, I would say. Anthony Bourdain. There you go. <laughs> how, many, how many blokes does it take to pull Graham off? <laughs> <laughs> but as I've found over the years, Sean sure it's not the size of the hook, mate. How far you can pull it out. <laughs> what it can pull out, I should say. That is a little tiny thing, isn't it? Oh, no! This is what we call a pickup. It's a little piece we didn't get when we were filming the bit we needed. So we do it afterwards in order to slot it in and to make things go smoothly, transition from one scene to the next. But because we didn't get it before, it's called a pickup. I'm coming back to pick it up. That's what I just did, I picked it up. 
All right, now the others are parked down here on the road. We'll get them now, and we'll do what's called a convoy shot. That doesn't need much explanation. One of the things we didn't do on this DVD was much in the way of fast convoy shots. So now we're going to get a high speed convoy shot. <laughs> mate, while I'm here, can I get a large Sprite, a Big Mac meal, and some nuggets? Yeah. Thanks, mate. Oh, bit me lip. Want to see it? Look. Look at that. Oh. Jeez. Not for everyone, this four-wheel driving. Come on, Nathan, you're a man. If you can do it, Rocket can. <laughs> <laughs> That's your life. It's very easy, boy. Well, as you folks just saw, that was one heck of a drive. Very committing, a lot of throttle, a lot of self-control. I'm Sean Whale for Full Wheel Drive Action, and I'll see you next time on the Full Wheel Drive Action Outtakes.